Hello everybody, my name is The Just Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Thank tutorial. It has been a while since I've been here, and it's been a long time coming, most definitely. A bit too long, I probably procrastinated a little bit, but I'm here now. After having a... Uh, after upgrading to a new PC, I'm finally able to do more things more effectively, especially run Minecraft with a reasonable render distance. Look at that, you can see all the flags in the background, yay. Uh, but on top of that, I can also run with shaders as well. So, uh, all of those things considered, um, recording quality should be a lot better, and I intend to get back to my typically uh, scheduled program. But uh, today we are going to do the T14 Armada as our way of returning. I'm also going to try to record as much as possible. And on top of that, I have a new microphone, as you can probably hear a difference in the audio. I've been told it sounds better than my previous microphone from my Mac, rest in peace. I still have her, but I don't really use her anymore now that I'm on a new gaming PC. Um, on top of having the new gaming PC, I can also play a bunch of new games, so I intend to do some new content, probably War Thunder and things along those, uh, things along those lines. But, um, enough of that. You're here for the Armada. So, I'm going to give you all what you've been waiting for for a long time, and so, let us begin. So, uh, to begin, we're going to take a stone brick slab, put one down here, we're going to skip to the right five spaces, and in the sixth space to the right, we're going to put another one, and then behind both of those, we're going to do a sideways facing spruce log. One thing I have not figured out yet, uh, just bear in mind, if you notice when I place a block, things seem to flash. I'm not sure if you can really, you, you'll notice it more and more, but things tend to flash with these shaders. I'm not sure if it's just these shaders and how they're set up. I don't know, but I like these shaders, <clears throat> so I'd like to use these as much as possible. But uh, it's kind of a weird system. I'm going to see if I can fix it, but uh, anyway, I'm going to do another stone brick slab and then we're going to do another spruce wood log. And then we're going to do a uh, alternation of dark oak stairs doing our old wheel design. And then we're going to do more spruce wood logs. We're gonna copy this one more time. Like this. We're going to take our spruce wood logs. Do it one more time. And then the stairs once again, like this. And now we're going to take our stone brick stairs, do it upside down stairs at the back of the uh, suspension. We're going to take dark oak slabs and do a row of five top slabs in between these two dark oak stairs on either end. We're going to come to the front of the suspension. We're going to do a row of five top placed spruce wood slabs like that. We're going to take our stone slabs, and then we're going to fill the whole bottom of the vehicle like this. Just saying, in my time gone, I have not wasted really any time. I've been making a bunch of new vehicles, I've been researching them, putting the info down so that everything is more readily available to me as I make videos. So, uh, I have not really wasted too much time. Alright, so we're going to take some iron trapdoors, we're going to do a row of five right here along the back. And then we're going to do two here, two here, we're going to leave the center open. Uh, in front of the tracks on either side, we're going to do a top slab of stone brick on either side. And we're going to take some stone buttons, we're going to put a stone button on the outside of each of the spruce wood logs. And this will finish off our uh, suspension. And I think we're done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, we're going to carry on to layer two immediately. Uh, starting with our stone slabs, we'll just do a block of using stone slabs like that. Uh, we're gonna take, all right, so spruce wood slabs, we'll just make a block out of it like this. We will take, I think this is dark oak. No, nether brick stairs. And we're going to need gray shulker boxes and those will run all the way back there. Okay, so firstly, we're gonna take our nether brick stairs and we're going to put one upside down here and one here, make sure the backs are facing toward the rear of the vehicle. We're gonna take our gray shulker boxes and we're gonna place them facing upward from the front all the way to here. Copy that to the other side. And once we're finished with that, we're gonna head back to the rear. 
turn into a few more upside down nether brick stairs like this. Facing backs facing towards the front, we're gonna take our spruce wood logs, face the sideways log at the ends here. And then behind those, we're going to do an upside down stone brick stair. We're going to take our green terracotta. And what we're going to do is from right here, we're not going to do this row yet, but from right here, we're going to do our green terracotta. And we're going to run it all the way up to here. And so we can just fill up the entirety of the armada. There is an interior, so we will just punch out what we need when we get to that point, like we normally would with any of our other tutorials. Hopefully I can stop clicking these shulker boxes. And um, just go from there. It's been a while since I built this, so I have a, I have gotten a few new building techniques. Probably could improve this a little bit, but I think it's already good enough as it is. So now, carrying <clears throat> back to the far back, take our dark oak wood uh, slabs. We're going to take some dark oak stairs. We're going to need those again. Uh, just put that image in my head. So we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs. We'll just make blocks out of these. So reality, you can just use dark oak blocks here. We're going to place an upside down dark oak wood stair here. Alright, so it does connect like that. So we're going to do this. The stair will connect <clears throat> to the rear of the tracks here. I'm going to put a dark oak wood slab there in the center, on the top, and then we're going to put a stone slab on either side of it. We're going to take our dark oak wood slabs once again, do two off the backs of the tracks here with top slabs. We're going to take our stone buttons, we're going to put a stone button on the sides of these rear wheels on the top of this suspension. We're going to jump back to the front of the tracks. We're going to need a um, upside down. We're going to need upside down stone brick stairs. Throw one. Ah! One here. Fix this. Put one over here. Going to need to take some spruce wood slabs and just do a row of five top placed slabs right there. We're going to take our black stained glass panes and we're going to run it. All right, so we're going to run it from this shulker box. Shift, place. We're going to run it from the shulker box all the way back to the side of this nether brick stair. <clears throat> Down on both sides. Just like that. And that will do part of the skirting armor. Or no, uh, I think they're just rubber flaps. And with that, I think we're finished with layer two. So now we're going to carry on to layer three. And we'll start that by taking some green terracotta. And uh, from right here, <clears throat> we'll just run a green terracotta basically down the whole side of the armada here down to about here. We're going to copy that to this side as well. Just run it all the way back to here. And then I think we can do a layer. I think we can do a row right here. <clears throat> okay. And then where would it end? All right, so we're gonna come out one space here, tuck it in one space, and I think right there should be where we end it. Correct. <clears throat> so after we have this whole thing outlined, now you can just fill the entirety up with the green terracotta. Also, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments what do you think of the shaders because if if you uh, have any better suggestions, feel free to throw them my way. Um, I'm using uh, Seuss, I think is what it's called. Seuss Renewed. Uh, I, think, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, that's the pack that I'm currently using. If you have any recommendations, feel free to throw them my way. If you don't like this at all, like if you don't like the idea of me using shaders to begin with, let me know and I can consider going back to standard vanilla uh but again if you have any better suggestions for shaders throw them my way i'm probably going to check them all out anyway anyway continuing on with layer three we're just going to come back to the rear of the vehicle we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs and replace an upside down stair <coughs> at the back we're going to take our tripwire hooks and put one on this block and one on this block we're going to take some cobblestone stairs, and we're going to take our nether brick stairs as well. One here, one here with another brick, and then we're going to put a cobblestone right in the center. 
Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our iron bars, we're gonna need those, we're going to need some green shulker boxes, we're gonna need signs, we're going to need red sandstone stairs, we're going to need red, we're, we're gonna need red, smooth red sandstone, the sign back, we're going to need white concrete, and then we'll continue on from there. <clears throat> so, take our iron bars, one, two, three, four, five, six, down either side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to do a row of three green shulker boxes pointing out sideways like this on either side. We're going to skip uh, five spaces and then we're going to do two. <clears throat> then what we'll do is we'll take our red sandstone stairs. We're going to place one here, place one here, but this one's upside down with the back facing toward the rear. Mirror that to this side. What I'm making here is if you look at, say, any of the modern, if you look at any of the Russian Federation military parades, you'll notice that on a lot of their vehicles they have a uh, marking on the sides of their vehicles. And I'm just trying to replicate that. You don't need to do this. If you don't want this marking, just continue the green shulker box, but I'm gonna do the marking anyway. So anyway, red sandstone, smooth red sandstone in these two spaces. And then in the center, we're gonna put white concrete. <clears throat> we're gonna take our signs, we're gonna put a sign on the smooth red sandstone, and then we're gonna put a sign on all of the green shulker boxes. So this is just gonna take a second. I guess that is a benefit. You could always write some stuff on the side of the vehicle, should you choose. And then two more. There we go. So now what I'm going to need, we're going to need some red stained glass panes. A red stained glass pane. I don't think you're two of them. And then we're going to need an item frame. We're going to put an item frame on the white concrete. Put the uh, glass in there and turn it once. <clears throat> I'm going to do that to the other side as well. Nope. There we go. We're going to take our dark oak wood stairs and at, in front of the green shulker boxes we're going to put a stair on either side. Get some sandstone stairs, some spruce wood stairs, some stone brick stairs and some stone brick slabs. So we're going to put sandstone, sandstone, spruce, 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 stone brick and then stone brick like that. I'm going to take our signs, I'm going to put a sign here, nope, right there, one right there, and what am I missing, I don't think I'm missing anything for this layer now, <clears throat> so that is layer three, so now we're going to move into layer four, so we'll start from the rear of the vehicle, we're going to raise these heat shields by one, and then bring them back by one, then on both sides, there we go, uh, we're going to take our stone slabs, we're going to do two here, actually I think it's like a, that shape it is, then we're going to just put a row of three stone brick slabs in between them. <clears throat> uh, we'll just work our way from the back forward, surrounding our spruce, uh, let me grab these while I'm here, that's going to be a uh, two by two. So, two by two with nether brick here going to put a spruce wood slab here, here, followed by two stone brick slabs in front of it. I'm going to take some daylight sensors, put two of those here, some dark oak slabs, We're going to need our spruce wood stairs, green terracotta. Alright, so right here we're going to do three spruce wood stairs, we're going to do three green terracotta, and then we're going to do three more spruce wood stairs here. Dark oak slab here, here. Uh, I swear I just heard some weird audio there. I don't know what I heard. Anyway, we're going to take our spruce wood slabs. Two here. Two here. I think this is going to be dark oak now. So we're going to do two by two dark oak slab. <coughs> Two by two, two by two, because I know everything's basically mirrored on every side. We're going to run some spruce wood slabs all the way down this add-on armor until you reach the end of the markings. 
<clears throat> and then once you reach the end of the markings, we're going to take some iron trap doors. I'm just going to, you know, shift and place iron trap doors on these blocks. Once we've done that, uh, we're going to take our spruce wood slabs. We're going to have two, two, give a space, two, two, spruce, one here, one here. All right, so this is going to be interesting for a minute. Uh, we're going to grab... Alright, so that's dark oak. <clears throat> okay. So, it's going to be terracotta here, 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 and here. We're going to take our dark oak, and we're just going to sort of wrap around like this. And then we can fill the turret ring for now. We'll come back to that for the interior. Uh, what's next? Alright, so... A dark oak slab here. Wait. It's going to be one there. Be one there. So one here. One here. I think we're going to wrap it around like that, actually. Correct. We're going to need some nether brick slabs. We're going to do two here. This is the crew access. We're going to take a stone slab and put it there, I think. Correct, and in fact, it's actually too close. It has to go there. We're gonna run spruce slabs in front of here. Take not iron trap doors. We're gonna need some daylight sensors. We're gonna turn these all blue, just like that. Then what we'll do is we'll take some flower pots, some stone buttons, and some wooden trap doors. Two wooden trap doors here. Two. Oh, that back to here flower pot flower pot where the heck did my button go give me that back button here button here <clears throat> and uh that's it for layer four so now that we're done with layer four we're gonna move on you know we're just gonna move on to our final layers uh so begin by taking we'll just start with the turret we're gonna do three green terracotta here now this is gonna be weird because the turret can be very weird to make. Alright, so, three there, three there, two here, I think the upside down stair goes like that, correct, I'm gonna put it like that, dark oak stairs, I'm gonna take some spruce slabs, I'm gonna take some spruce stairs. Do three upside down spruce stairs here. We're gonna do one top slab of spruce there. Uh, we're gonna do the same on this side actually with spruce. <clears throat> and I think we're gonna run dark oak along the back. The three there. I'm going to run back over here. Some dark oak stairs. Getting an idea of the shape here. Right, so one here. One here. Place this like this. There. I'm going to do an L shape of green terracotta. And that makes the that makes basically the whole shape of the turret. We're going to take some green glass panes. Um, we're going to do two on this side. Break that. We're going to do three on this side. Now we're going to move on to the gummer and take some cobblestone stairs. We're going to take the signs. Alright, so the cobblestone stair, stair will go here. We're going to do, uh, do a sign on either side here. Spruce wood slab here. <clears throat> followed by some dark oak. I'm going to grab a dark oak slab. We're going to do two. Followed by a spruce. Followed by two more dark oak. One more spruce. Two more dark oak. And then we're going to do a daylight sensor at the end. Grab some wooden trap doors. Put them under here. Two more there. Two more there. Under the dark oak slabs. And that will make the gun. <clears throat> so now it's just uh, all that's left is the top of the turret. We're going to take, take some iron trap doors. Throw one here. There's one there, one there. The trap door's there. We're gonna grab some stone brick slabs. 
One through six. Daylight sensors. One through three. Turn them blue. We're gonna grab a stone pressure plate. Put it at the base of the gun here. Now, how am I doing this part? This is going to be a row of five spruce wood slabs. Okay. So right here, what we'll do is we're going to do... Uh, right here. Side by side. Or back to back spruce wood stairs. We're going to do a row of five spruce wood slabs right here. We're going to put a slab right next to it. These empty spaces we're going to fill with nether brick fences. But on top of the one on the right... We're going to put a iron bar. Take our daylight sensors. One here, turn it blue. One here, turn it blue. At least I'm pretty sure we turn this one's blue. No, we don't. Fix that. Two back here. Those are the last ones you'll need. We're going to do six stone slabs. We're going to take some wither skeleton skulls. Place these in on an angle like this. You see those angles? And then we're gonna mimic what we just did right here, back here. Put the iron bar on top. And now what we need last is the MG, the remote controlled MG. So we're gonna need some mossy cobble walls, we're gonna need green terracotta, we're gonna need dark oak wood fence gate, we're going to need iron trapdoor. So green terracotta goes here. Wrap the mossy cobblestone around the back. Put the dark oak wood fence gate here the iron trap door on the top and now all that we're missing for this is uh, this custom made site I don't think I put a gradient on this I can't see the gradient so I don't think there is one actually no it kind of looks like there is no maybe not I can't remember I don't think there is one but anyway we're going to take a crafting table we're going to I think I've kind of put this one together. All right, so I know that we're probably going to need a... All right, so what we'll do is we'll take a gray banner. We're going to take some gray dye, some ink sacks, and some cactus green. That's all I think we're going to need. So, the crafting table, we're going to place that down. Gray banner, we'll put that in there. And then we're going to do the gradient. So if we take the gray banner and we do the ink sacks like that, we'll get our gradient. Next what we'll do is we're going to wrap in gray, like that, so we have the outline. We're going to run a center line of uh, gray dye. And then we're going to take our cactus green and we're going to turn the whole bottom half green, like that. And I think that's mimicked correctly. Correct. And then we can just get rid of that. Place this banner on the front. And there you go. You have the T14 Armada without the interior. And we're going to begin the interior here in a second. But if you're not going to stay around for this, uh, I hope to see you again sometime soon. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Uh, and I plan to be back as well. Uh, but for those of you staying for the interior, let's now begin. I want to start first with this section, so we're going to open this up first. I know for a fact I've got to go down to the base of the tank here. I don't know. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be within this section because we don't want to break the uh, dark oak wood stairs around us. So what we'll do is we'll go into this armada now. We're going to need cobblestone walls, and we're going to need a dispenser. We're going to replace this terracotta. Actually, we can uh, only replace those ones. We'll do two dispensers here. Ah! All right. Dispenser right there. Cobblestone walls right there. So this is going to be making the autoloader. What we're going to need is we're going to need chests, and we're going to need trap chests. Alright, so this looks a little bit weird. I'll have to fix this. So, firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to head into here. Let's get these chests next to each other on the top bar so it's a little bit easier. So, 
trap chests. Chests. You have to be in here for this. Chests. Trap chests. Chests. Trap chests. Chests. Trap chests. Chests. Stone slab there. Standard chest. Raise up. Hurry up with that there. And now we can cover this back up. And now we've made the gun system and the auto loader. And now we can fix this one as well. And now for the in now for the crew compartment. I guess we'll go in through here. And that's not going to work. So we'll go in through here. Uh heh. I need that back, thank you. We'll replace that, so we'll go in here, we're gonna go down to the floor. Uh Alright, so what I'm gonna do. We'll go in through here. Down to the floor. I know sort of what I'm supposed to be breaking out here, so just sort of mimic what I'm doing. I have a rough idea what I'm supposed to be breaking out. Now, I don't remember if you, were, if you had access to the ammo rack through here. Yes, you did. Okay. So, I'm going to need that. I'll take my white banners and I'll take the nether brick stairs. We'll head back in here. Break these, break that. Iron blocks here, iron blocks here. Cobblestone walls here. Uh, nether brick stairs, white banner, white banner. Cobblestone walls in these shapes. And now what we'll do is we'll head back to the other armada. The with you next, so it'll be iron trap doors, pressure plates, stone slab. These are another. These are the stairs. We'll take that. All right, and then we'll come back. So we're going to do our first iron trap door, second, third pressure plates here, stone slab. This part though, it's gonna get a little bit difficult, so we're gonna have to rip this part out. We're gonna do two nether brick stairs here. Item frame. And uh wrong way. What else? Ports to stairs. And a no button. One stair there. Like that. Stone button. <clears throat> we can get out now. We can fix this up. Turn those back. Stone slab here. Daylight sensor there. There we go. And we can fix this. Just be sure I got everything right. Yeah, all right, everything's correct. Get out. And with that, we are done the T14 Armada with an interior. All right, everyone. Well, it's been a while. I'm back now. Uh, hope you like the skin as well. I tried to make a historically accurate uh, Panzer Commander skin. Uh, there's an actual template for this on my Planet Minecraft page. It's a normal Panzer Commander skin. So if you just go to my uh, Planet Minecraft page, you can see it. I'll probably leave a link in the description to it. But, um, if you want to get this skin for yourself, but not with my face, it's going to have a normal human face. But, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the changes. The FPS is significantly better. The graphics are better, especially with the shaders. I can actually see rather far now. I'm no longer crippled by the weaknesses of my Mac, um, and uh, I plan to do a lot more content now, and a lot better content. So, love you all, thank you for returning, if you're a returning subscriber, if you're new here, I have plenty of other content should you wish to check it out, if you like this, and yeah, that's about it. So, 
Have a good day and goodbye.